from my experience a person who knows scripting always gains respect and attention in the workplace now in this video i am going to teach you set local delayed expansion what is that in detail we are going to learn in this video so let's move on to our screen and let's get started all right so now let's look at this example in this example let's read the lines carefully and you tell me what will be the output of this so first what we have done we have taken a simple variable i and we have assigned a value 0 here and now this value we have put inside a for each loop if you see there's a for each loop we have used with slash l i've explained what is slash l and then we are going to print 1 1 1 1 to 10 that means the loop is going to run from 1 to 10 that is almost 10 times now once it runs here inside this i have written a command what is the command set a i equals to percentage i means what 0 plus 1 so it will first print 1 then it will print 2 because the loop is going to run 10 times right that is what we are expecting isn't it so that the output what we are expecting is 1 to 10 it should print right as per the uh, logic 0 plus 1 will become 1 so i value will become 1 so it will become print 1 the next time when the loop runs i value is already 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so like that it will print 1 to 10 but you are wrong it's not going to print 1 to 10 why let me show you so there are a very important concept that comes called set local okay so if i if you run this what is happening the output is only printing zero it's not doing anything else so that that means what it indicates this line somewhere it's not functioning it's not working so here there are two different concepts that i will introduce you to one is known as parse time what is it parse time the other one is known as the second one is known as execution time what is it parse time and execution time now what is parse time so how this batch script works wherever you have used a variable right let's say this i you have declared as zero and here you are saying percentage i percentage so first time when you double click on the batch script first thing it will see inside your script how many variables are there and where i have to expand the value means if you have written percentage 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 i percentage meaning what is the meaning of this the meaning is zero the value is zero so it is going to do a expansion of the variable remember in the past time instead of so it will not read it as percentage i rather it is going to place the actual value of that variable so that is known as the parsing of the variables okay placing the exact value instead of the variable so first it will place the values then it will run from top to bottom okay if it is a loop then it is going to continue now in this case what happened first it passed the value is 0 0 plus 1 okay so somewhere in a loop right in a loop when you are trying to increase this local uh, the global variable i is equal to 0 right so it is not functioning this line entire line is not somewhere functioning that means it has expanded only once if you see when we have printed it has only printed 10 times 0 so it, it has expanded only once but in a loop we want the variable to expand as many times the loop is running I'm getting it so it should not just okay if this meaning is zero so every time it is printing only zero it is not expanding every time the loop is running it is only doing one time for the entire script so there that is where there is something called, that comes is set local okay set local enable delayed expansion so what is that let me show you what is the difference it is going to make the moment i write set local and then i have to write enable delayed expansion all single word okay delayed expansion means instead of doing one time expansion you do every time okay you delay that expansion and do it every time within the loop okay so that is the meaning now here there is a syntax change okay you will not write when you have used this set local enable delete expansion you will not use percentage i rather you will be using a exclamation mark for the variables so that it understand i have to expand it multiple times not one time okay during the parsing now here instead of percentage i the printing also will become like this getting it now if you see if i save this and run this what happened you see it has printed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the variable got expanded by simply writing 
set local enable delayed expansion okay sometimes you have to also do a end local if this is not working you know you can also do a end local okay just a script that is how you will be writing so if i run this you will see the see output has come so now you got an understanding what is set local enable delayed expansion this is generally used within a for loop when you have to expand the variable when you are trying to print the variable is not really expanding it is just printing the initial value that is where this is how the syntax will be written okay pretty simple one but very very powerful one so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic and please do subscribe in case you have not done the subscription of our channel please do subscribe thank you